Sup bitches. Oh fuck me not this guy again. Moon Man, what do you want? What's wrong? I can't just come say hey to you guys. Moon Man, you know well enough that you never come over just to say hey. Whenever you come over here you always ask if you can borrow money or something. Then when we give you some, you say thanks, bitch. You just gave me some free money, and then you literally run away. Yeah, come to think of it, why do we keep lending him money if he says that every time? Also, what are you doing with that gun? Well, I guess there's no deceiving you two. Oh shit. Hey, whoa, 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 what's this all about? I am taking this little trash can with me, cudgel, and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, come on, Moon Man, I thought we were all cool. I don't want to get into details, all I'll tell you is that this is just business. This is uncomfortably close. I can feel my fragile heterosexuality crumbling by the second. Well, hold on, man, uh, you said it was just business, right? Uh, is there any way I can make you change your mind? I don't know, man. I am getting paid really well for this. Okay, um, uh... How about I, um, uh... Sculpt you something. Hey, that's a good idea. Why don't you go ahead and sculpt my marvelous figure? Moon Man, I literally did that the last time you held one of us at gunpoint. Remember? Oh yeah. Well, I don't know then. What could you sculpt to make me change my mind? Uh... Let me find something real quick. Hold on. Uh, hey, how about this one? Uh, I call it Bold and Brash. More like, belongs in the trash. That was stupid. Anyway, sure, if you make that, then I'll let Robert go. Alright, I'm gay now. Alright, sweet. Let me get right on it. Just don't hurt him, okay? Okay, fine. Just hurry it up. Yo! What's going on guys? It's your boy Cudgel. Thanks to my only friend in the world being held hostage at gunpoint right now, I'm making a bold and brash custom amiibo today. I'm not your friend. Oh. I'm sure most of you already know what bold and brash is, but it's that joke from an old episode of Spongebob. How about this one? I call it bold and brash. More like belongs in the trash! So I don't see this being a terribly hard custom amiibo to make, so come and join me as we make a bold and brash custom amiibo. I figure a me fighter would be cool to use since we can make a me that looks like bold and brash. Basically what we'll be doing is cutting off the original figure and creating our own from scratch. The original gold base will need to be replaced as well since we're going to be trashing it. Here we're going to take out the gold base so that we can make room for our own. Be careful when doing this, some bases are glued on more than others so try not to damage the base and above all be careful not to hurt yourself. I've accidentally cut my fingers more times than I can count because I used an X-Acto knife to do this part. Before we do anything else, let's sketch out how we want it to look. Obviously it'll look like bold and brash from the painting, but I wanted to sketch out at least a forward view of it so that we get a better idea of how to make it look three-dimensional. This should be a pretty straightforward sculpt. We're going to start by making the gold disc that will be the base that has the Smash Bros logo on it. To make the logo, I just kind of press into the clay using whatever tool works best. Once we're done messing with the disc, go ahead and bake it, and then once it's baked, we sand down the edges to make sure it'll fit into the black part of the base. Now when it comes to the sculpt itself, I started with the head, which is kind of like a ball of clay that's rolled out in the middle. Now the body. We're going to try to make the legs and the body part of the same piece of clay to make it look as smooth as possible. Once you make the body and legs, attach the head. The arms will be attached separately. I bake the body and head before attaching the arms in order to make this part a bit easier, but you don't have to do that. The eyes are just two flat circles of clay.
Once you've got the whole thing baked, it's time to glue it onto the gold base. Now here's where we paint it. I'm going with a more solid color all around rather than the watercolor look that the original has, simply because I'm not that well practiced in painting and I kind of suck. Once it's painted, we want to cover it in some glaze for protection. And finally, let's glue the gold part into the black base. And with that, we are done with our bold and brash custom amiibo. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Also, if you want to win this amiibo in a giveaway, you can enter using the link in the description. All the info about the giveaway will be down there. Anyways, if you like this video, there's a button for that. If you like this sort of stuff, you could subscribe or something. And if you think your friends will like this, then go ahead and share it to them. Thanks again for watching. Alright, I made your meme. Are you gonna let Robert go now? You know, I thought about it and I've decided fuck you. I'm taking him with me anyway. Moon Man, you dirty liar, we had a deal! That's just how it is on this bitch of an earth. Okay, now I'm bored. What? Hey. Why don't you just do that in the first place? I thought it would be funny. How did you get away from me so fast? Moon Man, it would be smart for you to not get involved in this. For your own sake, remain a neutral party. I have a feeling I know who your employer is, and if I'm right, then your best bet would be to stay out of this. You're probably right, Robert. I can't stand the fact that you are right, but you are. Good luck with whatever the hell is going to happen. But then again, I guess I don't really care that much. I've been expecting another attack, but... Hiring Moon Man? That's low, even for him. We just need to stay on our guards. I've had a feeling for a while that he'd contact someone we know. We can't trust anyone. Cudgel, he has eyes everywhere. So are you really gay now? Yes. <laughs> Somehow I knew Moon Man would prove useless to me. They're more powerful than I give them credit for. Even still. I will kill those two, Robert and Kujal, at any cost. 